I'm going to try to attempt to make a, um, an instruction video on the assembly of this friction heater. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go over the parts, um, try and clear up some questions that people continuously ask and um, just to help things out. So in this case we're going to have our bottom plate which is tapped and threaded with quarter twenty threads that do not go all the way through and in the bolt pattern specified in the drawings or whichever bolt pattern you choose to to do that's fine you can move these dimensions any direction you want <clears throat> and we have the, uh, the flange bearing two bolt flange bearing it has a set screws in them um, we'll have two of those one for the bottom plate one for the top plate as you can see the top plate the bearing is mounted on like the bottom plate you're going to have your ID shims you're going to have a drive shaft with a keyway in it you'll have your disc pack hold down you'll have your set shim OD set shim and then you'll have your OD shims okay so top plate or I'm sorry, bottom plate, top plate, your bearings, your ID shims, and your OD shims, drive shaft, and your disc pack hold down, and the body. Okay, so I've already saved some time. I have these threaded in all the way. So just thread these down to, to the bottom. This is bolted in. Take the drive shaft and assemble it in, and then you will set the set screw. I mean, a lot of this stuff should be self explanatory, so you'll set the set screw. But for the people who don't have all the mechanical experience in the world, it basically just locks that drive shaft into the inner race. Um, this is a swivel bearing um, that does come in handy because the alignment from this o-ring groove to this o-ring groove to the body dimension allows for it to be off a little bit and still run true. Okay, so at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the body and set this down into this o-ring groove and I'm going to assemble this dry assemble without putting any kind of epoxy or anything in here at this point don't want to seal that yet. I want to make sure that everything fits up good and everything's running true. Um, the next step I will take the set screw. As you can see these shims are machined off of the same pipe the body is and then when I'm done uh, with the dimensions on this direction I just cut about an inch out of those and it creates a spring effect. So when it slides in there nice and snug. Okay, so that goes all the way down. Now I call that my set shim because that's exactly what it does is it sets the profile for the drive discs which I will retrieve the two other parts of this kit is you will have a drive disc with a 5 8 hole in the center and a 3 6 inch keyway laser cut out. They're approximately 62 thousandths thick and for the static drift discs they are 7 inches and 3 quarter and with an inch and a half hole through the center. Same material 62 thousandths thick. So after my set shim, I will install my first disc, my static disc. Okay, and at that point, I will take the key and put it in the keyway. You can see that now. Key is just setting in there.
and then I will take a drive disc. Just kind of walk it onto the key. Okay. So now I am set up to just assemble this. The next step is to take an OD shim, install it, and then an ID shim, install it. I'll take a static disk, install it. And I'll take a drive disk, install it. You do have to walk on the key and see it looks identical to the way it did just prior. Now it will be rubbing a little bit at this point, nothing's held into place, and that's okay. When it's completely assembled, that'll all go away. So instead of putting this all together for you, you just keep following that process. And when you get to the end of all your discs, you will take the disc pack hold down, which is keyed, and you will slip that over the key onto that disc, lock those set screws down, and then that'll hold that into place. Okay. Then you will move on to putting the top plate on, which has a bearing. We're not going to be able to set those set screws, not to worry. Just like so. Okay.